And we, we are bringing the microphone to you now, so you don't have to get up. Oh, sit down. <laughs> that works out well. Uh, this is Linda Darty. I work for FEMSA. I do have a question regarding the intent of Section 24. Is the intent that the, the standards be made available to the people that are interested in viewing it, or is the intent that it be made available to everyone with the possibility of those that want it might get it. And the, the reason I specify this, there's a difference in my view. As I understand Section 24, it says free and available to the public. If we talk about every IBR standard being posted so that anybody that wants to go out and Google it can, might happen upon it, that's one potential solution. The other potential solution is that someone says, hey, I'm interested in looking at this standard. I'm going to consult and say, hey, DOT, I want access to it, or oh, so-and-so, I want access to it, and then that would be made available to them free and via Internet. Can you tell me what the intent is? I, I, don't, I don't think we can speak to intent. I mean, no. Um, I don't, I don't know that we can speak to the intent. We can, we can tell you what the legal interpretation is, um, that the public would be anyone. Um, free is no cost, and on the Internet means the World Wide Web, and it doesn't provide for a lot of, um, I, you know, I, I don't think for us, opportunity to, to determine the intent, but I think we can tell you how we read it. Um, but, you know, the intent would have to be um, provided by those who drafted it.